What must David Livingstone have thought when he first came upon one of the great wonders of the world, the Victoria Falls? And what would he say now, 150 years later, if he knew they were to be the setting for eight of the most powerful women on earth to compete for the world's strongest woman trophy? We're going to see seven events and eight women, but not the defending champion, Jill Mills, who's decided to move into the world of powerlifting. Who's going to succeed her, though, as champion? All this may once have been a novelty, but now it's deadly serious. This is the third year of the World's Strongest Woman event. It's wide open because this year we've got athletes from track and field, we've got weightlifters, and we've got women who train specifically on these kind of events. All these ingredients add up to a great competition. Well, flipping tyres has long been a staple of strongman and strong women events, and we start this year's World Strongest Woman Championship with this chap. Now, Jamie, how tough is this? It's very tough. This tyre's 200 kilograms. The length of the course is 20 metres, so they've got to flip the tyre around eight times. I've got very big hands, and I'm finding it tough to grip this tread, so I'm sure the athletes are going to find it hard too. <laughs> Josie Morneau, representing Canada. Comes from Winnipeg, dairy farmer, and she's competed in World's Strongest Woman twice before. Next to her, Leanne Blinn from the United States, former powerlifter, and now she's a coach at Arizona State University. Aneta Floycek from Poland is next, gym instructor, and like Blinn, she's also a powerlifter and a former weightlifter as well. And finally, in this first heat, Julie Dunkley, representing Great Britain. She comes from Dartford, finished seventh in the Commonwealth Games shot put, and now she's turning her attention to the sport of bobsleigh. Get behind the tire. What a moment for these four women. Get the referee, as always, Dr. Douglas Edmonds. Away we go. World's strongest woman is underway, and already Floydcheck in the middle. The Polish athlete going well. That is Josie Morneau of Canada. She's a little bit behind the other three at the moment. And Dunkley and Floyd check almost together. There's Leanne Blinn. Perhaps a little bit on the short side. You need long levers and you've got to be very powerful as well for this event. And Floyd check is flying. Dunkley in second place for the time being. There she goes. The pole has got it over the line first. Dunkley in second place. Good time for Floyd check. 28.72. And Julie Dunkley, 31.09. And Josie Morneau, well, she is the most experienced athlete out there, but she's also the slowest at the moment. Leanne Blinn has finished, and Josie Morneau is really struggling. But a good start for all four, and especially Annette Floycek and Julie Dunkley representing Great Britain. And I think the polls time may be tough to beat by the other four. Did you expect to win? This is my worst event, but I'm pleased I'm in the lead. Let's see what happens. Our next four getting ready. Jennifer Aylward, the only newcomer in this group, comes from Columbus in Ohio, 5 feet 10 inches tall and an English teacher. Next to her, Jackie Young, runner-up last year. So, our strong woman from Ayrshire, she's really going to go for it this time, that's for sure. 
And next to her, very experienced, is Haini Koivunemi from Finland. As you heard John say, she's finished second and third in the last two strong women events. And finally, Anna Rosen from Sweden. She finished fourth last year. A former gladiator and powerlifter, 1 meter 75 tall, weighs in at 90 kilos. Get behind the tire. So the time to beat, 28.72 by Floyd Jack of Poland. And away we go. Well, I tell you what, Jackie Young, who's second from the far side, has got a lot of work to do already. She's behind Henny Koivunemi. And there is the American, Jennifer Aylwood. And look at this, it's the two nearest the camera, Koivunemi and Anna Rosen. And Rosen just goes into the lead. One more flip should do it now. Who's going to get it? Anna Rosen gets it just ahead of Haini Koivunemi. And I think they will finish in first and second place overall. Way under 30 seconds, in fact, 24.38 by Anna Rosen. That was a cracking start for the Scandinavian countries. Sweden and Finland in first and second place. That was a, that was a great race. Were you, were you watching her? <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> I come after you. <laughs> and were you watching her? Her, uh, yes. <laughs> and uh, I knew that she's very good with the tyre and I, I tried to give the balance, the rhythm. And uh, I saw she was she was behind me in the beginning, yeah. and then I saw she's catching me, and I, I tried to do my best, but I just couldn't get her. You know, she got me, and that's okay. I feel that I was oh. slow in, in the start when I came after you. So yeah, oh, I was attempting to finish finish the course, but after that I could, um, first flat, I could feel the pain. I thought, oh no. I thought, no, she's continued. Well, she was runner-up last year, but the key question after that first event, how much is that injury going to hamper Jackie Young's challenge this year? We've got 170 kilograms of weight in the basket. The athletes have to bend down, hold the bar, squeeze and stand up straight, and they have to do this as many times as they can. So Leanne Blinn, the first to attempt the deadlift, 170 kilos. That's 380 pounds plus. And those straps will help with the grip. It's not just the quads that are going to suffer here. It's the lower back, the shoulders, and, of course, the hands. And Douglas Edmonds says, down, that counts as one. She's not using her legs all that much, but she's got a very strong back. Down. And this is an athlete who's super fit all round. She's a fitness coach and a strength coach in Arizona State University in the USA. Oh, her leg's shaking just a little bit. You can see just how long her arms are there, stretching out on this weight. Five reps completed. Can she do another one? There is a time limit of 75 seconds. She's well inside that, just shaking a little bit. So she's over the six reps mark. Great venue for this event. Good crowd watching. Over the minute mark now. So it's not just those muscles I was talking about that will suffer. Her breathing and her heart will be pumping. One more rep to make eight. She's got it above the knees. Can she lock out? Yes, she can. A good effort, and I think Leanne Blinn has had enough. She's run out of time anyway. Eight reps, and that was a very good effort indeed for the American. 150% effort. Um, it was a hard, hard pull. And I wasn't, I wasn't quitting. I wasn't giving up. Time was going to let go before I let go of that bar. What's happening to your body when you're doing something like that? It's going, what the heck are you doing to me? <laughs> uh, it's going through every, every possible emotion, feeling. It's crazy. Well, Jennifer Aylwood's body decided the whole thing was crazy, and she failed to make one repetition. Jose Morneau of Canada did rather better, and she managed five. Well, it's Scotland now, and Jackie Young. Well, I have to say that Jackie's put on a wee bit of weight since last year. It looks as though it's muscle weight, and she's looking good. That's already three reps completed. A student nurse from Ayrshire. Such a dedicated athlete. And she's going well here. The lead, of course, still Leanne Blinn at eight repetitions. 
And she's got seven. One more to tie with the American. And she does it. Now she's got a chance of going in the lead. Remember, she finished second overall last year. And this looks good. And she needs it. Her first event was quite poor by her standards. Can she get ten? She's got to lock out. She must stand up. I'm not sure she can do it. And certainly the referee has disallowed that one. So she's going to have another attempt. She's well within the time limit. Just take your time. A little breath. And she's already shaking her head. I wonder if the mental strain has got to her as well. No, she's not going to do it, surely. So Jackie Young finishes on nine. But she is in the lead. That was a solid effort from Jackie Young. Well done. Happy in her? <laughs> a bit happier. <laughs> um, the only thing is, when you're like, kind of one of the early, one of the first ones to go, you try to beat the person that was on in front of you. And there are five girls to go. So they'll be thinking I've got nine to beat. <laughs> but I suppose after like the um, tyre flip, it's a better result. Well, Julie Dunkley hasn't had a huge amount of time to prepare for this competition. So, how will one of Britain's best shot putters cope with this? That looks very easy, and that goes up for number two. Well, Julie is a tremendous all-rounder. I've commentated on her quite a few times in terms of her shot putting exploits, but now she's looking at Bob Slay as another challenge. And already she's managed to get into the Great Britain team, so she's going well in that sport as well. And this is another string to her bow. I'm not quite sure what the judge is saying there, but she's all right for number five. Yes, she is. But it's still Jackie Young of Scotland and Great Britain who's in the lead. Well, the conditions here are so, so warm. There is a very good chance that with an event like deadlift, you could cramp up if you haven't taken on enough fluid. And already she's looking exhausted. And she's only on six reps at the moment. Just stretching out, as all good athletes do. But let's not forget, there is 170 kilos on that contraption. And Julie's a little bit unsteady. Now, will the judge give her that one? You'll notice she's not wearing any shoes. That gets a better position for the lift. And Julie Dunkley finishes on seven. She's absolutely exhausted. But she's in third place for the time being. And Etta Floycek now. Well, the pole is only 21 years old. But in her young career, she's managed to win so many weightlifting and powerlifting titles. So I wonder how she'll cope with this. That looks pretty good. Strong legs and especially a strong lower back as she locks out there for number four. And I have to say, this is looking easy so far. Very easy, in fact. She cruises through six reps and now moves on to seven. Total concentration by Floydcheck. And now she ties with Jackie Young on nine. This is looking ominous. And she's in the lead. There's only a couple of lifters after this, and they will be sweating, not because of the heat necessarily, but because of this performance by Aneta Floycek. 25 seconds to go, just a little rest. That's quite applicable in this sort of contest. It wouldn't be in weightlifting, of course. Now, can she get a couple of reps out to finish it off with? Little bend of the legs, then she locks out. That's 12. <laughs> Well, this is a fabulous performance in her very first World's Strongest Woman contest, going for number 13. And she gets it. And that is the end of time for Aneta Floycek. But boy, oh boy, has she produced a magnificent performance. Well, that is as close as you can get to a weightlifting competition in World's Strongest Woman. And she really has done well. That was a fantastic achievement. How happy are you with that? I'm very happy. And I hope to win this event. But I think Anna is very strong. Well, we'll have to wait for Anna. She won the first event, so she goes last here. And it's Haney Koivunemi who goes next. Well, Haney, in terms of experience, really has done it all. In powerlifting, in strongest woman competitions. Well, she has finished in second and third place in the last two years here. And she would dearly love to win it. 
So four reps completed. The primary school teacher. And what a teacher she must be. She never has any trouble with discipline, that's for sure. So determined, thoroughly professional in the way she prepares for these competitions. And now she's got six. One more to tie with Julie Dunkley. Let's not forget that Jackie Young is in second place at the moment. So the Scot has done well. And Haney, well, she has drawn with Julie Dunkley. And can she go ahead of one of Britain's best shot putters? And she's got an unusual technique, gets it above the knees, then locks out as a secondary movement, and she has got eight. Little jerk, leans back, and then tries to lock out. This is every inch an athlete's event. A little bit rugged, but she hasn't been given nine. She finishes on eight, and there's only Anna Rosen to go now. That was a gutsy performance by Haini Koivunemi of Finland. So not much fun there. Eh, no, it's not fun. And if you think it is, go and try. Well, maybe John Inverdale should uh, try this and tell us whether it is fun afterwards. But 170 kilos, no disrespect, John, but it may be beyond you. It's certainly not beyond Anna Rosen. And just uh, waiting for the referee to signal down. And that is number two. Wilson signal, down. Well, we heard what Aneta Floycek thought of Anna Rosen. She admires the performances of the Swede. But can the Swede get 13 reps to draw level with the pole? It's an enormous target. Jackie Young in second place on nine. And then, of course, we've got Haney Koivunemi and Leanne Blinn of the United States. They're both on eight. And that is what Rosen was on, but she's got nine now. Now then, can she get one more to go ahead of the Scott? It's going to be tough. Has she been given it? Yes, she has. She's in second place, all on her own. And surely, after having seen that last effort, she can't beat Floycek now. But she's going to give it a shot. She goes for 11. Ah, she's dropped it. So that means Sweden in second place. And unfortunately for Julie Dunkley, she moves down one more place. But what a victory it was by Aneta Floycek. 13 reps, unbelievable. Were you trying there just to get 10 to come second? Yeah, I know that I've never done 13, so I have to go for 10. And so are you happy with second place? Yeah, I am. A bit of tactical nows from the Swede there to secure seven points in second place. But Floycek out on her own with 13 repetitions, and it means now it's pretty tight, three and a half points between the top three. This is the log lift. The logs weigh 70 kilograms. That's the equivalent of a fridge. It's got to be lifted above your head as many times as possible, and this is going to test upper body strength, especially shoulders and arms. Leanne Blinn from the United States nearest the camera, and then Julie Dunkley, who's had a pretty good start to this competition, I have to oh, say, and being a shot putter, she has got tremendously powerful arms and shoulders, and legs come into this as well. 11 stone is the weight, 70 kilograms. So imagine lifting an 11 stone person above your head. That is an awesome prospect. Well, each woman has a judge next to them. And this is Leanne Blinn and gets that one. And so does Julie Dunkley. Well done. Good lift, lift. It really is an awesome prospect lifting this weight. 
But there is extra pressure here. Let's not forget they're on public display. There's a lot at stake here, the title of the world's strongest woman. It's different when you're in a gymnasium, just doing it in front of your mates, that's for sure. And they've got three each, that's good. Well, if you're sitting in an armchair at home, just imagine if there's somebody in the room who weighs around about 11 stone or 70 kilos, lifting them above your head. Not once, not twice, not three times, but four times for Julie Dunkley. And Blinn really is struggling with number four at the moment. And Dunkley moves to five. Good lift, lift. Well, Julie Dunkley is a tremendous all-rounder. She's got speed, she's got power. And she's demonstrated that on the slopes of the bobsleigh circuit where she's representing Great Britain now and maybe trying to head towards the Olympic Games as a break woman in one of Britain's bobsleigh teams. Well, Blinn really is struggling, and that is six for Julie Dunkley as the time runs out. Good performance once again for the British athlete, for Julie Dunkley. <laughs> How good's that going to be compared to the rest of it? To the rest of the other girls? I'm not sure. I think Annette will win this one. She told me she's done ten reps in training, so that's pretty, pretty good. The mind game's going on even at this early stage. Jennifer Aylward, though, struggling big time. Just one repetition for the American. And the same as well for the Canadian. Jose Morneau, just one. Jackie Young, nearest the camera. Haney Koivunemi from Finland on the far side. Look. And away we go. What a target Julie Dunkley has set. Six repetitions. And uh, after Jackie and Haney have had their attempts, the top two in the competition so far, Floyd Cech and Anna Rosen will have their turn, but for the time being, we're watching Haney Koivunemi, one of the most experienced women in this competition, and Jackie just looking a bit unsteady there. And the judge gives her that rep, she's got three now. Koivunemi rolls it up her chest. And pushes, 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 she gets number four, and so does Jackie Young, good effort. Well, Jackie really came on strongly last year to take second place in the second half of the competition. But you just get the feeling that if either Haney or Jackie are going to take this title, they've got to make their move here. One more rep to draw level with Julie Dunkley. Come on, Jackie, a big push. Oh, she's lost it. Haney's just taking her time. A two-movement lift up to the chest. Drives up with the legs. And she's got it. So Kovianemi level with Dunkley. Jackie Young looks absolutely exhausted. And she's finished. Great effort for Finland. Top of the table with Julie Dunkley. And Jackie Young finishes for the time being, let me emphasize that, in third place. Aneta Floycek nearest the camera. And Anna Rosen on the far side, the overall leader, but only by a single point from the pole. Floor check. Oh, she's such an accomplished weightlifter. Never mind a strong woman. Anna Rosen, a lot of power in those arms and legs, and that looked pretty easy. Good lift. Lift. Contrast the techniques. Anna Rosen just had a camera there, almost just pushing the weight up and locking out with her arms. Let's watch this one. Little push, locks it out, and down. Uh, lots of bruises on those arms from some of the previous events, but watch the drive up. Look at that, hardly using the arms at all. It's all legs. Rosen struggling a wee bit. And Floyd check on four, and now five. That is superb. Straight up to the chest. And gets six, now she's drawn level with Koivunemi and Julie Dunkley. And Rosen is still struggling to try and get six, and Floycek has gone in the lead. Poland in the lead, and if it stays like this, we're going to have a new overall lead, and she's got number eight as well. Anna Rosen is really struggling here. She's attempted that sixth lift about three times, fails it eventually, and Neda Floycek has done it. She's won it. Anna Rosen finishes equal fourth with Jackie Young and Julie Dunkley equal second. Did she know how Anna was getting on next door to her? I was worried that she was a bit quicker at the beginning, so I sped up. 
It's pretty tough. It's hot here and difficult to breathe. I did OK, though. Well, there's OK and there's OK, and that's very OK for Anna Floycek. Eight repetitions, giving her eight points, and it means that she is now leading after three events. For those of you at home that watch The World's Strongest Man, you'll be familiar with the stones. This is the same kind of event, but instead of loading stones, we're loading steel boxes, ranging from 55 kilograms to 70 to 80 to this monster of 95 kilograms. And for any of you ladies that want to try this at home, lift a 15 and a half stone guy onto the roof of your car. Go on, give it a go. Well, just remember it was Jamie Reeves who said that, not me. And now it's Leanne well, Blinn on the right-hand side Leanne up against Jackie Blinn. Young. Leanne certainly in need of big points. And Jackie Young, this is where she came on strong last year. And let's not forget, she finished runner-up to the champion, Jill Mills, who's not here this year. The first one weighing in at 55 kilos. Away we go. 110 pounds. And Jackie made it look so light. The second one, a little bit of a problem there. The first time for Jackie, 70 kilos, over 150 pounds. Now, Leanne's on the short side, certainly a good three inches shorter than Jackie, so having a bit of a problem, and Jackie is absolutely flying. Now, can she get 95 kilos, over 200 pounds, up on that plinth? Yes, she can! Superb by Jackie Young, 27.62. That is a fantastic time especially when you take into account the weight of that last block, 95 kilos. And that is the block that lies in wait for Leanne, but she's got to get this one up first and she's all over the place. And Jackie Young, just a spectator at the moment, and that is going to be a huge time to beat for everybody else. Well, you can't say that Leanne Blinn is not a trier. But she really is struggling. You've got to get that block much, much higher on the chest. There's no way she's going to get it up from there. So her score will count as two blocks, but Jackie Young completed all four in a very fast time. Well, that's, that's given the rest something to think about, hasn't it? I know, I know. I'm quite pleased, pleased with that event. Um, these kind of events are actually more my kind of type of event, like the strength events like that. Um, I knew I'd have been good at this one, I was good at that last year, and I, I knew I still had the strength to do it again this year. Well, things still not going well for the North Americans. Jose Morneau lifting just two in 29.59, and Jennifer Aylward, two in 19.12 seconds. Well, the BOMA, or the meeting place, right on the banks of the Zambezi, absolutely packed for this event. And Julie Dunkley's got a real chance to impress now, and she's alongside Haney Koivunemi. Douglas Edmonds sat in the background, and he and Jamie Reeves have devised all of these events for these strong women. So here we go, the leading time, 27.62 by Jackie Young, and Haney is just in the lead. Julie needs a good score here, just finding those blocks a little bit awkward, but that was the 70 kilogram block up and away. And now she's catching Koivunemi. She's just going to roll that up onto her chest. And that she's finding very awkward. And so is Koivunemi. And Koivunemi gets it up. So she's gone ahead of Julie Dunkley. If they don't get the fourth block up, the time taken to get the third up on top of those drums will count. Look at the determination on the Finn's face. She can't quite negotiate that square block. And Julie is absolutely exhausted. She's gone. And Haney is giving it everything. That is heavy, believe me. And that just shows you how well Jackie Young did. Julie, absolutely flat out. I have actually seen her do the splits before. Now ah, she's cheering on Haney. But she can't quite get it. She's got to push those arms up, but it comes crashing to the ground. A few seconds left. But they are done, they're finished. And so Jackie Young is still in the lead. 27.62, can anybody beat that? Anna Rosen on the left. Aneta Floycek of Poland, the overall leader after the last event. 
two and a half points ahead of Rosen. And this really is a head-to-head. -head. It could have a bearing on who becomes champion eventually. Fourth last year was Anna Rosen. And the newcomer Floyd Czech has really set this competition alight. Away we go. That was easy, 50 kilos. Both of them flying. Rosen, the taller of the two. That could be an advantage. And Rosen has really stolen a march here. On number four, but 95 kilos is a massive weight. Up on the chest, and it's up! Oh, my goodness, that was fabulous! Anna Rosen has blown the time set by Jackie Young apart. He's certainly in the lead, but Jackie Young will finish in second place now. Floyd Check can't quite manage that. Julie Dunkley's going to finish in around about fifth place. Floyd Check's almost got it, and she's got it now. Just outside 42 seconds. But what a finish by Anna Rosen, who certainly closed the gap on the overall leader. You were running. Yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah. It was almost too easy for you. Yeah, it looks like that. But I'm, I was very full of adrenaline. And I know Anita was, is very fast and very strong in this. So I, I thought I'd get, get, get it all here. Because you maybe were disappointed this morning. Yes, I was. So thinking, now or never. <laughs> but how happy are you with that? <laughs> that happy. Okay. Yeah. You were very brave to get the fourth one up. Tell us about the fourth one. I found it really tough. It's my first time at this event and I haven't really learned the correct technique. So there's confirmation of Rosen's victory and well done Jackie Young, back in contention and looking in the form that she was 12 months ago. But it means there's just half a point separating the top two. This is the squat. It's another powerlifting exercise, but this time the athletes take the weight on the back of the neck. After that, they bend the knees and go down until the upper thighs are parallel with the floor. Then it's a big drive with the legs pushing the hips forward and the head coming back until they stood erect. It's most repetitions wins, and this is with double body weight, hence Matilda and Frieda. From the USA, Leanne Blinn. Here goes Leanne Blinn. And a fantastic crowd here to watch the squat lift. 175 kilos and that's just a tad short of 400 pounds 27 and a half stone imagine lifting three nine stone individuals not once but many many times and as time goes on she's going to start puffing and blowing a little bit great gulps of oxygen every time she lifts and those knees wrap very tightly indeed to protect the knee joint. That's so important when you're squatting. Well, the fitness instructor from the University of Arizona is going well here. And fitness is what this event is all about, not just strength as well. Now she's beginning to blow a bit. 12 reps, that's excellent. Douglas Edmonds, the referee. And this bit of apparatus designed and built by Jamie Reeves. A lot of thought and innovation has gone into this event. And the two ladies on the back there looking very, very calm, cool and collected. And this is good. 16 reps altogether by the American. And she's run out of time. But what a performance. That is Leanne's best performance so far, I'm sure. Wants to get those wraps off as quickly as she can. They wrap so tightly around the knee. But what a good performance by Leanne Blinn. And that, again, I think, is going to be tough to beat by anybody else.
16 is a very tough target for anybody else. How do you feel about that? I feel pretty good. I feel pretty good. Um, some good girls left to go uh, after me, Aneta, Anna. I think, uh, I think they could be pretty close. Hopefully not over 16, but I think they could be pretty close. <laughs> Well, poor old Jennifer Aylward's wretched competition continues. Not a single squat lift for the American. Jose Morneau finding the going tough, as you can see from that face, but she managed five. And then we had the two British contestants, Julie Dunkley, she managed nine, and she was followed by Jackie Young, last year's runner-up, and going better now, she managed nine as well. So Britain's representatives, Julie and Jackie, tied on nine reps each. I think they'll be disappointed with that, but now it's the turn of Haney Koivunemi. Now, last year, the squat was a definite weakness. She's not really what you might call the perfect shape for a squatter. She's tall, she's quite lean. I wonder if she's made any improvements this time. That looks pretty good. She's wearing a super suit. That's very, Good very luck. thickly Squat. woven lycra to support the lower back, Good big luck. wraps Squat. on the knees. She's even got ankle supports as well. Squat. And got five. Good luck. And Squat. remember, Julie and Jackie's total was nine. She's Good heading luck. towards that Squat. now. And let's watch her breathing as well. A big gulp of air in and then out. That's perfect. And she has drawn level with the Britons and she's gone ahead of them. This is a massive improvement by the Finn from what we expected. And she's now heading towards the target of Leanne Blinn. And one of the helpers there is saying, are you finished? And she says, no, I want to carry on. This is very impressive from Haney. 15, and she gets it. I think she's had enough. She wants the stands, push back in, and 15 reps is good for second place for the time being. Such an improvement from last year. That was superb by Haney Koivunemi. So you fell one short. Are you disappointed or are you really pleased? I'm very pleased. Last year I did one rep, now 15. So <laughs> I'm very pleased. But you know what? I can't hear anything. There's a huge pressure in my head. I just see stars and can hear properly. From Sweden. Anna Rosen of Sweden Rosen. has to follow that. Only one more competitor to go after this, and that is the overall leader, Floycek from Poland. So what can Anna Rosen do? Former competitive Squat. powerlifter, so she knows her way around this sort of exercise. Squat. Two Good given. Squat. And Good looks left. pretty comfortable. Now wait for a signal. Good left. And Douglas Squat. Edmonds just saying, wait for the signal. Don't Good go left. down too Squat. soon. Good left. That's six. Squat. Well, she's only half Good a left. point behind Squat. the overall leader at the moment, so needs a particularly Good, Good effort here. Yes. Good Leanne left. Blinn, Squat. the American, leads on 16. Koivinemi, 15. Good and then some way down Squat. is Julie Dunkley and Jackie Young on nine. And that total has been surpassed. And now Rosen Squat. has got 13. Squat. This to draw level with Koivunemi, and she's done it. Good performance by the Swede. This to draw level with the leader, and she's got that as well. Superb, one more. Oh, she's lost it. She just lost it on the last lift. She needed to go into the lead. So she's drawn level with Blinn of the United States, and we've got two women at the moment who are in first place. Just one competitor to go. So you're equal. How do you think? Yeah, we'll see now. Wait and see. I think she's going to go for 100. <laughs> well, that's super confidence from Anna Rosen on what Floycek is capable of. And I must say, she looks very relaxed here. But in terms of Olympic weightlifting and powerlifting, so many titles have been won by Anetta over her young life. She's been a competitive lifter since she was 16. She's not got massive legs, but look at the power. Good left, squat. Well, I'm not sure about 100, but 16 would seem to be a reasonable target. That is the lead at the moment. Good left, squat. Just half a point ahead of Anna Rosen overall before this event. If she wins this, she's going to extend that lead. Good left, And that's equal with Dunkley and Young and passed easily. Left, squat. Going well. Left, this squat. looks ominous, I have to say. Good left, squat. Good 
Absolutely one. strict judging. Left, 15, one more to draw level and Left, she's got it. One. one more to go into the lead and she gets that as well. That is superb Left, and she carries one. on. Left, if anybody's one. told her she's winning and she's won. Left, Over 20. Now she begins to blow and puff just a little bit, but who can blame her? She says that's enough. She just wanted to put on a bit of a show. And could we be looking at the champion? We'll have to wait and see. There's still a couple of events to go. But that was a massive effort by Aneta Floychik. And she now goes at least two points ahead of everybody else. Why did you not stop at 17? What was the point of going on? I wasn't sure how many reps I'd done, but it's better to do too many than not enough. <laughs> well, she was obviously so much in the zone, so focused on what she was doing, that she remained oblivious to the previous scores. But here's the score to concern her most. Two points between the top two. Next up, it's the York race. It's all about leg strength, but it's a fine line between speed and balance. The length of the course is 25 metres and the York weighs 220 kilograms. That's about the same weight as this fella here. And by the way, the loser gets thrown in. Only joking. Take your position. So here goes Jackie Young. Lift. Well, she's only got two events to prove herself here and move up from fourth place. But she is a long way behind Koivunemi, Rosen and Floychek. So here goes the last from Ayrshire. Oh, she's struggling a wee bit just before the 10 meter mark. You can see how unsteady she looks at the moment. That yoke is wobbling backwards and forwards. And over 200 kilos, that's 440 pounds plus. Well, she's just uh, started again, but the wobbling cages are giving her all sorts of problems. And now, just shaking out her left foot there, her left leg touch of cramp perhaps in these very hot conditions and just feeling her Achilles tendon. Ooh, uh, if that hurts, she really ought to call it a day. She's putting a lot of weight on her right leg, but I think she's finished. And Jackie Young has got a problem, there's no doubt about that. The next stop surely has got to be the physio's tent. And here comes the team doctor. He's going to take a close look at that Achilles tendon. I wonder if Jackie's campaign is over. <laughs> Meanwhile, Henny Koivunemi on the Take start line, position. smiling at the moment. I'm not sure she'll be smiling once that massive weight is on her shoulders. Lift. <laughs> and here goes the third place athlete at the moment. Just one more event to go. And again, looking very neat and tidy. Small steps, but quick steps, that's important. Heavily wrapped, heavily supported by that belt around the midriff. And she's going to finish this, no doubt about that. Heini Koivunemi, 23.78, that is fabulous by the Finn. But will it be enough to win this event with only one more event to go? We'll have to wait and see. Well, Jennifer Aylward battling on, and she managed 19.62 metres before it became too much for her. For Morneau of Canada, 54.22 to complete the course, but a fair bit quicker than that, Blinn of the USA, 33.62. Well, Jamie Reeves, of course, compared this apparatus to about the same weight as one of those giant crocodiles that we saw earlier. I hate to say it, Julie, but if you want to win this, you've got to make it snappy, so let's go. Julie Dunkley, we know she's very fast over the ground without this weight. She's a good sprinter. She drives across the shot put circle with such speed, and this is quick. She's going down the course like a demon, and that is great. 15.66. Oh, she's gone into the lead for the first time in World's Strongest Woman, a little handstand to celebrate. Can she hang on to the lead and take maximum points? I hope so. How about that? Oh, I'm well impressed with that. Really happy. What was the hardest bit about it? Um, it's really unstable, so you have to really work hard in your, in your stomach to keep stable, otherwise it's just going to drop. From Sweden, Great performance Anna by Julie Rosen. Dunkley. Now it's the turn of Anna Rosen. The battle for the top spot goes on between Rosen and Floyd Jack, who's yet to go. Lift. Just two points separating the top two strong women. 
But can anybody beat the time by Julie Dunkley? Anna Rosen, perhaps the tallest of our competitors, that may be a disadvantage, but she's handling it OK at the moment, over 10 metres. She goes past the mark, set down by Jackie Young, poor old Jackie, who's still in the physiotherapy tent, and Anna Rosen surely is going to finish. It's much, much slower than Julie Dunkley, but I think she's gone into second place. 22.53 for the Swede, and that surely is good enough for big points yet again. From Poland, Aneta Floycek, our overall leader. Well, it would certainly do her prospects of becoming the world's strongest woman, the power of good, if she can win this one. But all power to Julie Dunkley for setting that very, very quick time of 15.66. So this is a big one for Aneta Floycek. Here we go. Oh, she's going quickly. This looks good by Aneta Floycek. And the Poles, remember, have done so, so well in both the men's and women's competitions. Oh, she's down! And that surely means victory now for Julie Dunkley. But I think Floycek may gain second place. Yes, she does. Almost topples over. But it is a first victory for Julie Dunkley of Great Britain. What a tremendous result there for the shot putter from Dartford in Kent, emphatically better than the rest of the field. And what it means with just one event to go is that it's a two-horse race for the biggest crown of all, but it's competitive behind. How far or how fast could you walk carrying 21 stones? That's what's next up for the girls, 10 and a half stones in each hand for 50 metres. <laughs> Representing Great Britain. Julie Dunkley on the far side. What a world's strongest woman competition she's had for the very first time. And guaranteed a fourth place, but after the third place, currently held by Haney Kovyanemi of Finland. It's got to be a massive effort from Julie Dunkley. Get ready. Kovyanemi, pretty good at this sort of event as well. Now then, Dunkley's got to stay with the Finn. Blowing hard, shoulders sloping forwards. You've got to keep the hips high as well, otherwise you just buckle. And that foot has just got to go over the line, and Hedy's just got the lead at the moment. Now, Julie's got to beat this woman if she wants to get on the rostrum at the end, but Julie has dropped in just where she didn't want to. Haney Koivunemi has guaranteed a place on the rostrum, which one we don't know yet. And Julie Dunkley, I think, will finish overall in fourth place. It doesn't matter about the last heat. Haney's time, 25.97. So it was the big battle for third place and you won it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you had to beat her, didn't you? Were you looking at her at any stage? Uh, yeah, I was looking at her all the time and uh, she was too fast and I was thinking uh, could you could slow down a little bit. I didn't mean that you could drop the weight. <laughs> so when I heard that she dro dropped them, I knew that, you know, that uh, it's, I'm going to be the third. Were you going, trying to go almost too fast on the, on the yeah, second Yeah, I leg? turned and I said I was just a little bit behind. And uh, I thought, right, let's sprint down there. <laughs> but my, my poor hand gave out. Oh, oh no. <laughs> poor so, hand. Next year. Yeah. Well <laughs> done to both of them, but now Sweden. the battle for top Anna spot begins. Rosen. Anna Rosen has got to win this event and beat Aneta Floychik by at least four Floychik. places if this young pole is not to lift the title for the very first time. It's a packed audience, including all the local dignitaries here. Uh, what a climax we hope we're going to get. Can Anna Rosen lift the title in this last event? Can Annetta, nearest the camera, hold on? The time to beat 25.97 by Koivinemi. And look at Flojek go. This young 21-year-old has been an absolute revelation. A little touch beyond the line, all that is required. Anna Rosen's got all the work to do. Aneta Floycek is coming away. So young, so brave, and so, so strong. She's going to win it by a mile. That is her fourth victory in the final of World's Strongest Woman this year. And she's done it at the very first attempt. There is Bogoslav, her coach. Absolutely delighted. Anna Rosen, a worthy runner-up, but what a champion. How much does it mean to you to be World's Strongest Woman? I am extremely happy as I'm the youngest competitor here. It's my first year doing this. The others have been competing for many more years. So for me, it's a great achievement. 
Naprawdę bardzo się cieszę. Is this the best day of your life? Yes, Myślę, że it's tak. the best. I think Aneta really deserves these competitions. She's very strong, so I, I'm happy anyway. Well, an injury sustained in the yoke event meant that Jackie Young sat out the farmer's war. Julie Dunkley perhaps disappointed, but she undoubtedly will be back in the future, as will Floyd Czech, champion at the first time of asking. Making the presentations is the mayor of Livingston, the local town, of course, named after the great explorer. And third place goes to Heini Koivunemi of Finland. I wonder how many more times we'll see her in this the level of trophy. competition. Anna Rosen of Sweden Sweden. moves up from fourth Anna place last Rosen. year to runner-up spot this time, but behind a brilliant champion. A young 21-year-old becomes the world's strongest woman. And Anna Floycek of Poland. And let's not forget, Poland won the men's title as well. And how many more years can we see such brilliant performances as we've the seen from Aneta? Four individual victories. Julie Dunphy, of course, Fulte. finished in fourth place. But what a champion. She did it superbly. The referee, as always, Dr. Douglas Edmonds, away we go. World's Strongest Woman is underway, and already Floycek in the middle. The Polish athlete going well. That is Josie Morneau of Canada. She's a little bit behind the other three at the moment. And Dunkley and Floycek almost together. There's Leanne Blinn. Perhaps a little bit on the short side. You need long levers, and you've got to be very powerful as well for this event. And Floycek is flying. Dunkley in second place for the time being. There she goes. The pole has got it over the line first. Dunkley in second place. Good time for Floycek. 28.72. And Julie Dunkley, 31.09. And Josie Morneau, well, she is the most experienced athlete out there, but she's also the slowest at the moment. Leanne Blinn has finished. And Josie Morneau is really struggling, but a good start for all four, and especially Annette Floycek and Julie Dunkley representing Great Britain. And I think the polls time may be tough to beat by the other four. Did you expect to win? This is my worst event, but I'm pleased I'm in the lead. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Our next four getting ready. Jennifer Aylward, the only newcomer in this group, comes from Columbus in Ohio, 5 feet 10 inches tall, and an English teacher. Next to her, Jackie Young, runner-up last year. So, our strong woman from Ayrshire, she's really going to go for it this time, that's for sure. And next to her, very experienced, is Haini Koivunemi from Finland. As you heard John say, she's finished second and third in the last two strong women events. And finally, Anna Rosen from Sweden. She What must David Livingston have thought when he first came upon one of the great wonders of the world, the Victoria Falls? And what would he say now, 150 years later, if he knew they were to be the setting for eight of the most powerful women on earth to compete for the world's strongest woman trophy?
going to see seven events and eight women, but not the defending champion Jill Mills, who's decided to move into the world of powerlifting. Who's going to succeed her, though, as champion? This may once have been a novelty, but now it's deadly serious. This is the third year of the World's Strongest Woman event. It's wide open because this year we've got athletes from track and field, we've got weightlifters, and we've got women who train specifically on these kind of events. All these ingredients add up to a great competition. Well, flipping tyres has long been a staple of strongman and strong women events, and we start this year's World Strongest Woman Championship with this chap. Now, Jamie, how tough is this? It's very tough. This tyre's 200 kilograms. The length of the course is 20 metres, so they've got to flip the tyre around eight times. I've got very big hands, and I'm finding it tough to grip this tread, so I'm sure the athletes are going to find it hard too. <laughs> Josie Morneau, representing Canada. Comes from Winnipeg, dairy farmer, and she's competed in World's Strongest Woman twice before. Next to her, Leanne Blinn from the United States, former powerlifter, and now she's a coach at Arizona State University. Aneta Floydczak from Poland is next, gym instructor, and like Blinn, she's also a powerlifter and a former weightlifter as well. And finally, in this first heat, Julie Dunkley, representing Great Britain. She comes from Dartford, finished seventh in the Commonwealth Games shot put, and now she's turning her attention to the sport of bobsleigh. Get behind the tire. What a moment for these four women. Finished fourth last year, a former gladiator and powerlifter. 1 metre 75 tall, weighs in at 90 kilos. Get behind the tire. So the time to beat, 28.72 by Floyd Jack of Poland. And away we go. Well, I tell you what, Jackie Young, who's second from the far side, has got a lot of work to do already. She's behind Henny Koivunemi. And there is the American, Jennifer Aylwood. And look at this. It's the two nearest the camera, Koivunemi and Anna Rosen. And Rosen just goes into the lead. One more flip should do it now. Who's going to get it? Anna Rosen gets it just ahead of Haney Koivunemi. And I think they will finish in first and second place overall. Way under 30 seconds. In fact, 24.38 by Anna Rosen. That was a cracking start for the Scandinavian countries. Sweden and Finland in first and second place. That was a, that was a great race. Were you, were you watching her? <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> I come after you. <laughs> And were you watching her? Uh, yes. <laughs> and uh, I knew that she's very good with the tyre, and I, I tried to give the balance, the rhythm. And uh, I saw she was, she was behind me in the beginning. Yeah. And then I saw she's catching me, and I, I tried to do my best, but I just couldn't get her. You know, she got me, and that's OK. I feel that I was oh. slow in, in the start when I came after you, so. Yeah. <sighs> I was determined to finish, it, finish the course, but after that, um, first flat, I could feel the pain. I thought, oh no, I thought, no, she's continuing. Well, she was runner up last year, but the key question after that first event how much is that injury going to hamper Jackie Young's challenge this year? We've got 170 kilograms of weight in the basket. The athletes have to bend down, hold the bar, squeeze and stand up straight, and they have to do this as many times as they can. From the USA, so Leanne Blinn, the first to Leanne. attempt the deadlift, 170 kilos. That's 380 pounds plus. 
and those straps will help with the grip it's not just the quads that are going to suffer here it's ready? the lower back the shoulders Look. and of course the hands Down. and Douglas Good Edmund left. says Good down left. that counts as one Down. she's not Good using left. her legs left. all that much but she's got a very strong back Down. Good left. and this Down. is an athlete who's super fit all round she's a fitness coach and a strength coach Down. In Arizona State University in the USA. Oh, her leg shaking just a little bit. And you can see just how long her arms are there, stretching out on this weight. Five reps completed. Can she do another one? There is a time limit of 75 seconds. She's well inside that, just shaking a little bit. So she's over the six reps mark. Great venue for this event. Good crowd watching. To go. Over the minute mark now. So it's not just those muscles I was talking about that will suffer. Her breathing and her heart will be pumping. One more rep to make eight. She's got it above the knees. Can she lock out? Yes, she can. A good effort, and I think Leanne Blinn has had enough. She's run out of time anyway. Eight reps, and that was a very good effort indeed for the American.